Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create YouTube Shorts video by using Microsoft PowerPoint. Today, most of the people create the YouTube Shorts video. If you would like to create an informational short video, you can create from PowerPoint slideshow with transition and animation features. Let's learn how you can do this. So first you have to prepare for your source file of the background images, text and some of the share button. I have prepared for the four background images and the text for the shorts video. So first you have to create a new blank PowerPoint presentation. So I have to add the PowerPoint presentation. Here I have to add the video title. So now we have to open the PowerPoint presentation. So by default, PowerPoint presentation orientation is the landscape, but the shorts video should be the portrait. So we have to change the orientation for portrait. You have to go to design tab. Here you have to click on the slide size. So now we have to change the portrait. So we have to click on the custom slide size. It will be open the slide size window here you have to click on the slides as portrait then you have to click ok it will be asking for the the scaling of new slide size so you can choose of maximize now your powerpoint slides orientation has been changed to portrait so now you can delete this the first we have to add the background of the image so i have to right click and click on the format background then you have to click on the picture here you have to insert the picture from your computer the background image i have added so now we have to add the text the video title so we have to copy the text and go to insert here you have to click on the text box so the text box you have to write it then you have to paste it have to change the color of the text then you have to change the font as you need so so i would like to make it center of this text so that's it so i have to reduce of the size that's it so now i have to add the text box of the background of the text so i have to go to insert tab here you have to select the shape then you have to choose the rectangle that's it orange color so we have to click to send to back that's it you can adjust center of the slide so now we have to add the quotes add the text box then you have to increase the size then change the color that's it you can adjust the text size as you need then you can make it italic for the stylish font make it center of the slides so now we have to create the second page of the text we have to add one more slide delete this then we have to add the background so we have to click on the former background and click on the picture then you have to select from your computer that's it text section you have to add the quotes the first quote we have added here so you can adjust the style anything as you need here so now we have to increase the size So now we have to add one more slide, remove the image container, have to go to format background, add the picture, the second quote we have to copy from our prepared text.
the text is not showing visible so we have to add the container for the background so click on shape here you have to choose the rectangle that's it so the color should be black then you have to make it the transparency of the text that uh, object should be sent to back so now you have to select the text and change the color of the text that's it so now the text has been visible properly so now we have to create one more slide then you have to as it is for remove the media container then right click on the format background click on the picture and add the image so now we have to add the, the final quotes of the text so the same font style you have to add it from the previous one The same background we have to add this slide also so send to background that's it so now we have to add the one more slide that is a final slide here you have to remove this remove the container of the text and go to first slide you have to copy these and paste from here so you have to also add the background that's it so we have to slightly move then you have to insert the share button so we have to adjust the size of the share button so now the alt content has been ready of the your shorts video but we have to make it more interactive so we have to add the transition and animation with powerpoint features so first you have to select this you have to group this by click on the ctrl g now the text and the object has been grouped so you have to go to animation here you have to add the fly in that's it so now you have to select the second text and click on the fly you have to click on the animation pan then you have to select the both animation and right click and click on the start after previous so now you have to check it out the slide by click on play all that's it so now we have to add the all slides to make the animation for the text go to the second slides and click on the animation add the fly in but this time we have to add the text move from right side so you have to click on the effect option so here you have to select from right so you can also enhancement to change the word comes from at once or by word so i have to select the animated text should start by words so you have to click ok so that's it so the design has been perfect so now we have to move for the another slide the same style we have to apply for that effect option the bottom is ok but we have to choose by word that's it the third text also we have to add the animation by click on fly in then you have to right click and click on the effect option this time we have to add the by letter animated text by letter this is a different style of the animation that's it so now we have to move for the final slide here also we have to group that then you have to add the fly in the text also add the fly in then the 
share button should be the different animation so we have to choose for the smile that's it so now the all slide has been added for the animation the final step is we have to add the transition for each slide changes so we have to go to transition here we have to add the bush the lot of transition available you have to choose for bush so you have to click on apply to or unselect the on mouse click then you have to select the after 10 seconds so you have to add the 10 seconds so we have a five slides right the each slides has been wait for 10 seconds that means the five slides should be completed within 15 seconds so this will be helpful for the shorts video because the youtube shorts video must be within minutes so you have to apply to all of this transition for all slides so you have to click to apply that's it so now you can check it out go to slideshow then you have to click on from beginning You can check it out the timeline the 10 second after 10 second it will be moved automatically So that's it the 56 second the end of the slide your video has been finished once you need to adjust anything you can adjust then you have to publish the video by go to file then click on the export then you have to click on the create video then you have to click on the create video I have selected the mp4 file then click on export so once completed you have to open the video file you can check it out the 55 seconds length of this video so you have to click to open So we have missed one part that is called the background music. So we have to go to insert tab, then click on audio on my PC. Then you have to select the audio. Here you have to move to down here. Then you have to click on the play in background so that the background music will be played for the entire video. So now you can check it out. Click on the slideshow and Click on the from beginning. That's it. So now we, ha we have to again export the video by click on export, create video and click on the create. You have to overwrite the old video. So now you can check it out your video.
In this way, you can create the YouTube Shorts video by using Microsoft PowerPoint.